Identity is fluid and changes depending on the context. However, race and color are fixed, carrying connotations that can lead to stereotyping and overrepresentation of non-white people in social work. In our work on anti-racist practice, we found that sometimes white social workers can become anxious about offending non-white clients during their interventions. As a result, they may appear culturally insensitive, unable to see race, or unwilling to disrupt racism. Unraveling white privilege can help social workers appreciate and accept racial and cultural needs of ethnic minorities, their experiences and fear of discrimination. Anti-racist practice involves social workers scrutinizing their own identities, power and privilege and working to end oppression through self-transformation and challenging oppressive structures and practices. Navigating white privilege and genuine allyship involves disrupting implicit and unconscious racial oppression. It means being willing to be challenged, asking uncomfortable questions about your identity, reflecting on racial biases, your approaches to practice and calling out racism.